The pain was really bad. I got, it got to the point where I couldn't go to work. Um, I couldn't function. I couldn't get off the couch for like probably weeks at a time. I sleep sitting up on the couch, sitting on the couch, you know, or on the chair. I mean, it was very rarely would I go to bed in the last probably six months before I got this surgery. Went to Dr. Kovac, he took an x-ray of it, and Dr. Kovac said if I wasn't sitting there in front of him and him, him looking at the x-rays, he would say it was a shoulder of a 90-year-old man, that it, uh, it was one of the worst he has seen. It was really right after surgery, you know, I mean, I'm thinking I'm still under medication or whatever, but um, I've never had pain one, not, not even a pinch. I mean, I was on, I got operated on a Friday, Friday morning, and the following Thursday, I quit taking the pain pills. I only took them that long because everybody's saying, you want to stay on top of the pain, don't let the pain get ahead of you. Since I've had this procedure of surgery, I can rake leaves, which I enjoy doing, and I couldn't do that for like two or three years before the surgery. Playing with my grandkids is a whole different ball game now, so to speak. I can pick them up. I can, I'm not in pain. Well, I'm in the construction trade, and I need, you know, there's a lot of lifting, a lot of overhead work. Before I couldn't, I could just use one hand, maybe fight the left hand up. But now I can put both hands up, you know. I would have done this a long time ago if I knew that's all it's going to take to get my life back. I would have seen Dr. Kovac a long time ago. I heard he was the best, the best, and um, as far as I'm concerned, he is.